I don't really know what to think or how to feel. Everybody's speaking Spanish. I already feel like an outsider. I'm slightly overwhelmed leaving the country for the first time. I don't know what to expect. I was born and raised in San Francisco, California, and that already makes me very different from the people I will be around for the next two weeks. My Spanish is limited. My biggest fear is to not be able to communicate with other people. Suddenly, we are in the sky. The world looks so small, restless. I watch as we pass the cities, like sparkling diamonds. The golden sun kisses the wings of the plane, and I see land from another world. It all feels different. The heat, the smell, horses and carriages roaming the streets, structures made out of scrap metal. I observe everything. I meet a lot of my family for the first time. How different do I look to them? Do they even like me? The moment I enter my family's house, I am embraced with open arms. Tu eres mi familia. As grateful as I am to finally be around my family, I feel guilty and ashamed about my limited Spanish. What a pity that a girl who is half Nicaraguense cannot speak her native language. I can mostly understand what they are telling me, but could barely make a response. Why wasn't I granted the gift of being bilingual? However, I am granted the gift to be here to explore all of these spectacular places with these wonderful people. Me importa una gotita que caiga del cielo, un rayito de sol en invierno y me florece mi jardín. Me importa la mirada sincera del tiempo, la sonrisa que mece al silencio, contar contigo, contigo, contigo sin ti. Las cosas pequeñas te portan a mí, la lluvia, la luna, de que sonreír. As beautiful as Nicaragua is, I am saddened by the poverty. How people need to do anything for money young children working besides their parents. Something I learned is that the majority of the people are selfless and appreciative. Many people from the US, including myself, can forget how lucky we are. Tengo suerte. The people here are at peace with what they have. They focus less on material things and more on their families, which I think is the key to a truer humanity. My little cousins, do not have the toys I had when I grew up. They may not ever have as many things as I have, but their smiles are wider than the sea. La familia es lo que realmente importa. When I was a young girl, my grandparents lived with me. They raised me. All the Spanish I know, I learned from them. I spoke it well back then, but I lost it once they moved away. I tell my grandparents that I love them all the time. Abuela y el abuelo. Que me podía viajar en cualquier momento. Y yo nunca habría sido capaz de decirle todas las razones. 
por las que te amo o todas las cosas que has hecho extraordinaria. I need to be able to thank my aunts and uncles and cousins for making this trip as brilliant as it was. Gracias, tías, tíos y primos para hacer esta experiencia general. What if I do not ever see them again? Tengo que ser capitas de hablar con usted. There is a missing part of me. Growing up in an English-speaking community had me accept that I don't need Spanish. I already know English. You're not Latina. You are white, my father told me. Well, if I am only white, why does it feel like there's a part of me that is missing? There is a part of me that I am dying to understand. I've been kept away from the side of myself for too long. Visitando Nicaragua es un sueño hecho realidad. Aquí es donde empiezo mi pescuida. Communicating with others isn't as hard as I thought it would be. Because I learned it's okay to look like a fool, I found peace in my honesty of not being fluent. Letting go of my shame opened doors to getting to know people without having a solid conversation. Even playing a game of charades to communicate with a stranger was valuable because it is still a way of connecting. The Nicaraguan side of me is more important than I've ever imagined. I will stop at nothing until I am fluent in Spanish and I will return to my family and speak to them. From laughing with my family to standing alone at the beach, I was meant to be here. Soy americana y soy Nicoya.